Something I make consistently on the homestead every year is bitters. Bitters are a preparation of bitter herbs and digestive herbs and spices and stuff in alcohol. You know, drink it with uh, meals to stimulate digestion. I use it a lot. I'll use it pretty much every heavy meal. Like if I eat a, a large meal, I'll usually take bitters with it. And so I can use a lot. In a year, I could probably go through at least a gallon. I've never made enough to get through the whole year, so I'm guessing one to two gallons. I'm out right now, so I'm making a small batch, but one of the ingredients I like to use isn't available right now, mugwort, and that is growing in the summer. So what I should be doing is making like a half gallon of mugwort tincture every summer and then blending that when I make my artichoke tincture. Artichoke is my main bitter herb that I use, and it is quite bitter, but it also contains silymarin, which is good for your liver. So if you look up milk thistle or silymarin, you'll find all kinds of research and interesting stuff on its liver protective and liver healing properties. So I'm not really sure how much silymarin they contain. I've looked for that information before, and waded through you know scientific papers as much as I could stand and I've really found a clear answer about what kind of levels of silymarin are in artichoke leaf compared to say milk thistle seed but it's in there. What we're doing today is harvesting some of these leaves and then I'm going to let them wilt down to lose maybe 50 percent of their moisture because uh, the alcohol I'm using is just cheap vodka. It's like 40% alcohol, but I don't want a bunch of plant water in there, so I'm gonna get rid of some of the plant water before I make the bitters. So right now we're just gonna harvest some of those leaves and hang them up to wilt. Wilted down. Actually, I'd prefer they were a little more wilted down, but I kind of want to get on with this project. So I want bitter, right? And I want the biggest, oldest leaves here. And I also want the leaves, not the ribs, because the ribs are not as bitter. So I think I'll just trim them kind of like that. Okay, a few days ago I started this with uh, some orange peels. I think that's like three oranges worth of orange peels, just regular navel oranges. Pretty much I'll use any oranges. Sometimes I use lemon peel, but usually not. But I really like the orange peel because I like the way it tastes and I think it's also a good bitter. Since I have a lot of leaves here, I think I'm going to make two half gallons. So right now I'm just going to divide this roughly between these two. And I have one more orange, so I'm going to add that peel as well. Close enough. I actually have two more oranges, but I don't want to eat them both right now. So I think I'll eat one after lunch, and I'll put that in here. I'll go ahead and peel it right now, and I'll just save the other one. Whenever I eat it, I can just chop up the peel and throw it in. Okay, mince this up. Fennel seeds here, uh, either fennel or anise. I think these are fennel seeds because they're large. The other one's fine. This isn't a recipe either. I don't even put the same stuff in every time, but I'm kind of habitual about some. This is uh, star anise. I do like some of that in there. Maybe two of those. Uh, let's make it three. Ginger. Okay, I don't have any mugwort, but I do have this Artemisia tincture that my friend made. So, um, this is the Absinthinum wormwood. 
it's very bitter. We'll see how that does. I can always add more in there later. And we'll fill the rest with artichokes. I think that's pretty good right there. And I want this very strong. I'm going for pretty much, uh, you know, close to as much as will fit in here. And the magic ingredient, vodka. Leave a little room for those orange peels, and I also forgot this Oregon grape root, which grows here, but not very much of it. This is some that I bought. Now this stuff is bitter. And that's it. I'll probably start using these within a week or so, but the longer they sit, the better to an extent, you know. I'll probably, after maybe a month or three weeks, I'll drain one of these off and use it, and then I'll just leave the other one until I actually need it, and then I'll, I'll strain it off then. So one last thing, I add a ton of sugar to this. Uh, honey's okay. I like to use evaporated cane juice, and I mean, it's almost like syrup because it's so bitter. It just makes it way, way more edible. It actually makes it taste good. Uh, I also like sugar in my diet. When I decant this, I'll just add a bunch of sugar until it's super sweet, and then I put it in here, keep this on my counter, and take shots off of that. Okay, so that's it. I think uh, this stuff actually works. You know, that's why I make it. It really seems to help with uh, as a digestive. And also, these plants contain a lot of bitter, compounds and stuff that we don't eat as much of as we used to in a natural diet because um, domesticated plants a lot of the bitter flavors and compounds are bred out of those but they have functions in the body like a lot of um, herbs are hormetic where they kind of like stimulate the cell kind of in a negative way they sort of poke at the cell and invoke like a toxic response, but that turns on the detoxication me mechanism of the cell. Uh, some of the medicines I take regularly are in that category, like rosemary, saffron, harataki, um, that will kind of hit these buttons in your cell and turn on these processes. And a lot of that stuff's been bred out of our diet. So if you sit around eating white bread and jelly and peanut butter all day, and uh, you know just stuff that has no wildness left in it then you don't get those things i kind of like to think of this as just a shotgun dose of that kind of compound um, you know i don't care about researching specifically what these chemicals do that's not really the point this is mostly i'm taking this as a bitter but i do think that a lot of us would probably do well to add more of that kind of stuff back into our diet and this is a way that i can get a shot of that pretty much every day.